So here we are at William Kane Park. Hi everybody, it's Brett for Topo Ranger. And I noticed the other day as I was driving by on Route 83 over there that the water levels were down. I'm not sure why they're down, but they're down and I think it's it's just kind of neat to go somewhere where, where uh, to see a lot of exposed area that's usually underwater is now on the surface and dry. I noticed a lot of people fishing they just go right down to the current water level. See all these, all these canoes all lined up. I just saw some kayakers come out and they had to basically carry their kayaks up to there. There's a trail right over here that runs along the side of the ridge. Let's go, uh, let's go take that out to the point we'll get a better view of the big part of the lake. <laughs> I almost fell over there. Let's so keep following this trail. There's the highway. It's a scorcher here today, South Central Pennsylvania. It's going to be low 90s, pretty high humidity. I can see the beach down there. Well, it's not a beach, but I can see it. I just gotta find a way down. And here we go. Well, here we are on beautiful Lake Redmond Beach, <laughs> which isn't a beach. Uh, well, it is now, but the water level the normal water level, as you can see, is right about there. Now, Lake Redmond is a, is a, a water source for the city of York. It's kind of kayak. So um, you're not allowed to swim in it or camp around it or anything like that. That way it doesn't get dirty because people would just, you know, mess it up. Because <laughs> that's what people do, right? but I've, uh, I've never seen it like this. I don't know if this is a, um, a scheduled lowering for some type of maintenance reason. I do know they're doing some construction on some of the spillways, I think, uh, close to where we are right now. So that might be the reason, but I think it's pretty neat. See back there, people fishing. Water doesn't look very appealing, but you know, as long as it's relatively clean in terms of what's in it, it's okay. I knew a guy who uh, had, had gone scuba diving here once with the permission of the, or whoever gives you permission. Uh, he was trying to retrieve something. Um, I forget what it was, but he had permission and he said it was about 50 feet deep. Uh, it was the visit, and he said the visibility was not really good until you hit the bottom five feet and then it got crystal clear right at about 50 feet. Um, but he said there was, it was, you know, there was really nothing down there. It's not like a quarry where they sink stuff, uh, or, or the ocean, you know, where they sink, uh, ships on purpose for wreck diving and, and reformation. Um, so I think it's about 50. So it's probably about 40 feet at the deepest spot right now. The cool thing is, is you can come here and, uh, you don't have to hike on the, on the trail. You can hike on the beach. Here's a hard-boiled egg <laughs> and it's nice and clean I mean there's really not much stuff of course one of the things you think of when you know, a situation like this is like well stuff's gonna start turning up like Lake Mead uh, um, where they're finding like boats and, and bodies and barrels and all this <laughs> all this crazy stuff but uh, I don't think that's the case here at Lake Redmond which is good 
because you don't want your a lake used for drinking water and whatnot to have a bunch of you know stuff in it uh, certainly not dead bodies and barrels that have been there since what the late 70s they said it's horrible that's why i didn't i didn't uh i didn't look in that barrel yesterday when we were on dolomite island but we are getting what looks to be the foundation of a building here that was uh, actually below the water there's a piece of a pottery you see this wall here and there was some uh, concrete slabs here this looks like what used to be a floor concrete block wall it's probably you know 25 30 by 40 feet 45 feet so there used to be some type of structure here I don't know what it was though that's interesting Let's see all the blocks in the water it's almost like it exploded or something yeah right here boom 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 so a building right here this is kind of littered with stuff maybe this was an old uh, place of entry we got some geese people fishing right there at the point looks like there's a little stream coming in over here let's check that out that's why these geese are here right here because there's cold clean water coming up out of here uh, i don't want them to attack me <laughs> it's so funny when their butts stick up in the air yeah right here oh it's nice in the shade you see this yeah this could be a spring or this could be a uh, could be a, just a little stream it feeds right into the into the lake and there they are the beautiful geese this one this one right here is just boom lay flat right down on it this one's standing on one foot <laughs> they are amusing creatures now here's a looks to me like an access road so that's the, that's the parking lot right there this is a road not a trail that's for sure maybe this led down to whatever that structure was in the past here we go I got some good photo ops right there Let's head up here and see what we can find. Red blazes. I think that's the trail that goes around the lake. So now we're up on the ridge, up above where we just were. And look at this. Hollywood has the Hollywood sign. World famous. Well, York County's got the Lake Redmond sign. Oops. Yeah, look at that. It's well maintained too. It's like sheets of metal painted with screws in it. And it's also welded in some places. It's probably about 30 feet high. Is there a trail here? Maybe we can get down to the beach. Mm -hmm. No. Looks like there might have been a trail here. And then there's these things. I think these are like solar powered water monitoring equipment. Because there's one there, there's one there, and there's some. For oh, there goes a cardinal. I can see the, the 
the rock beach right there in the water. You can see the rocks on the other side too, but uh, I'm not seeing any trails. Huh. Right, why don't we head back to the docks? Here's one of those trees with all the old carvings in them. Ben plus Jen forever. I'm talking about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, because they did get married just recently. So that's where we came down. I mean, look at me, I'm sweating, it's hot. Uh, that's where it came down. That's where I came down. And the guy was with his dog. I don't think you're supposed to let your dog swim in there too, but you know, whatever. Dogs are cleaner than humans, right? <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> oh, here we go. Got some exposure. This, this looks, really sh looks really shaly, look at this. Almost looks like cross beds. All right, so we got to get by this little outcrop. Right around this corner here is the inlet where we came in. Let's see if we can negotiate this. There we go. Oh, we got another one up here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, uh oh. What's this? Some kind of fishing thing. It drops off pretty, pretty steeply right here. Into the, I think this is the deepest part. Um, but I don't think we can get around. It's. Well, we could get around, but then there's a bunch of trees. The inlet's right there. 